If you're using hydrogen peroxide inside of your float tank, you're going to have to have some means to measure how much hydrogen peroxide is inside of your float tank with parts per million. There's test strips out there, but they're not accurate. However, this Taylor kit right here, the K1826, uh, is accurate for float tanks. Um, there's two versions. There's the K1826, which is the 0.75 ounce, and then there's the K1825, which is the 2 ounce version. The difference is, is the K1826 will give you 44 results, and the K1825 will give you 118 test results. And it's fairly simple. Basically, you take your float tank water and you fill it up to the line on here, 25 milliliters right there. And you add your bleach region, 10 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Give it a good swirl, make sure it's mixed in there. And then your Molly B date region. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but nevertheless, you put 10 drops in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you'll see how it starts turning yellow, and that means that hydrogen peroxide is present inside of there. So you give it a good swirl and make sure it's all like uniform in color. And that's how you can go to the, the last step, which is to add your thiosulfate sulfate region. And how this works is for every drop of thiosulfate sulfate region that you put inside of it, you're gonna, it's going to equal to 5 parts per million. So if I was to put um, 10 drops of this in there, that would equal uh, 50 parts per million of hydrogen peroxide. Now I can tell by taking tests with this before that uh, there's a significant amount of hydrogen peroxide in there, so I'm going to go ahead and throw 10 drops in here right away. If it was a very slight yellow color, I'd go, I would work into it much slower, like I'd use two or three drops at once and then mix it around with my hand and, and see how that um, affects the color. When the color is completely clear, that is, that's how much uh, hydrogen peroxide you have in there. So however many drops that you put in there to make it clear, multiply that by five and that's your total parts per million of hydrogen peroxide that's inside of your float tank. So here goes 10 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would, elite, that would equal 50 parts per million right there, and you can see how it clears it up really good. So that's 50. I'm going to go uh, 5 drops more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, I did 6 there, so we're at 80 parts per million. And that's even, even better. Not totally clear yet, so 80 parts per million. We'll do 2 more. 1, two that's 90 and there you go right there 90 parts per million and you want to have about 100 parts per million um, inside of your float tank uh, for the version that I have at home here uh, 90 parts per million in my own personal tank I'm okay with that um, I know that I'll be good for a little while uh, and uh, I'm gonna go float